of the world here in the Treasure Valley, including Russia. So joining us here this morning is Father David Moser from St. Seraphim, uh, the Russian Orthodox Church. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Well, I'm glad to be here. We've had you on the show before. We're talking about the Russian Food Festival to give you a little preview of what's coming up this weekend. And I understand it's been a long time in preparation, correct? Well, we start towards the first of the year. We really start fixing food, maybe March-ish. Wow. And, uh, of course, this week it's all in high gear. Everybody's working day in and day out. I think I go to bed before they're done. It. <laughs> I, I was going to say, is it uh, around the clock for people making food right almost, now for how much you almost, guys? Almost, almost. And uh, this is going on Friday and Saturday at your church, I understand? Yes, it is. At yes, Saint, it is. At St. Seraphim, that's on 29th and Moore. That's over, correct. Over in Boise. So you brought in a few of the examples of some of the foods that you can buy. Some people might pause and say, okay, Russian food. What exactly is Russian food? But I think they might recognize some of it once oh, yeah. they see it. So show us what yeah. you brought in today. Okay, well, today we have uh, one, of the main, one of the entrees, which is stuffed peppers right here in the center. Mm. And then uh, we have a spicy carrot salad. Which I want to show them as well. Oh, yeah. And the carrot salad, I, I've had some of this before. What else you, what else you got in there? Is it, is it mainly just carrots? You got other veggies in there, too. I don't too? know. It's a secret recipe. <laughs> they don't even tell me. <laughs> He's the father, and he doesn't even know. And then this one, is this a soup here no, as well? No, those are mushrooms. Mushrooms, Marinated okay. mushrooms. What could be more Russian than mushrooms? There you go. And in, in, in addition to these, we also have the, the classics, you know, the, the, the Russian borscht. The, that's the beet, the beet and, and cabbage soup. The, we also have the uh, stroganoff. I was going to say stroganoff. That's one of those words that I know. One yes. of the foods that I know yes. at least. Yes, wonderful. Full of nice creamy cream and butter and cream and butter and cream. And speaking of butter and delicious, I'm guessing there's some butter in your desserts as well. Before we get to that, though, check out these shirts because that's how you're going to know who's actually working at the Russian Food Festival. It's going to be crowded there. I was telling you, you guys yeah. should sell these shirts. These, this is pretty I cool know, stuff. Isn't it great? Pretty I know. cool stuff right it. there. But I love the desserts. And you, oh, you brought these in. I don't know the names of these. I just know they look amazing. Okay. Go over some of these. We've got, we've got Napoleon cake. And there will be, this is just one of the many cakes that we have. And, and they're all like layered cakes, right? Well, this is a layered cake. There's okay. a honey cake that's not layered, but it's full of nice, rich honey. And we also have uh, some uh, baklava. Um, who doesn't like baklava? And, okay, another word that I've heard before, but what exactly is baklava? What's in baklava it? Baklava is, is thin pastry, a phyllo dough that's uh -huh. layered with butter and and uh, cream nuts? and butter and cream. No, no, no. <laughs> butter and nuts and sugar. Ooh, even better. I like that. And honey. I like that. And these, they look like these nuts. These are called areshki. They look like little nuts. And inside, yeah, there you go. You get the cream. They're filled with, what is that? It's a, it's, it's a um, caramelized milk. Wow, so it is creamy. Oh, on yeah. The inside. It's, it's really, t they're addictive. That's why there's so many of them. Oh, yeah, because we're going to need to, just, we're going to you know, be pop popping these like they, yeah, like they yeah. are nuts. All right, so <laughs> these are just some of the things you can find at the Russian Food Festival this Friday and Saturday at St. Seraphim Russian Orthodox Church in That's Boise, right. starting at 11 each day, Starts right? Starts at 11 each day, goes till 8, 9 o'clock in the evening. And all these proceeds uh, are benefiting the church and, and all the things that you do right. throughout the year, correct? Yes. The hope is that this is the, this is the seed money for our building fund so that we all can right. improve the building. We want to raise the roof a little bit. Uh, that's the next thing on the agenda. A and very good uh, cause. Thanks, thanks so much for showing all this to us, and hopefully you'll make it out there, and hopefully it's a good experience for you guys as well. Oh, yeah. We look forward to seeing everyone. All right. We're going to be right back after this with a final look at some of our top stories.